today's video is going to be Misty Zoo Zone 2 Cage Tour in February. Now, as you may be able to see, there's something on Misty's back. I am filming this in advance, so it may be gone by the time this is up, but she does have a little scab. I think she injured herself somewhere um, on her back, but she's doing absolutely fine. We've treated it and all. Here's an overview of Misty Zoo Zone 2 Cage. You may be able to see that I've taken off the lid, just so that I can film this clearly. So starting right ahead of us we have this six and a half inch purple silent spinner and as you may be able to see below is her name in blocks, it says Misty. Over to the right we have her little blue food dish and this is actually her vegetable because she's scatter fed at the moment. Moving over we then have this beautiful piece of puzzle playground, I am so proud of myself for making this because this took so long, it's unreal, <laughs> so it's actually still standing and it's just a little tower sort of position which Misty really really likes. Next to the tower we have her wood roll and this is from the naturals actually not the woodlands this time so I got this from a viewer ages ago and I was meant to give it to Mickey but um, he prefers Antos dog chew so I gave Misty this and I gave Mickey uh, Misty's Antos dog chew. And just down here we have her strawberry house which is stuffed with bedding, fitch and um, a bit of the care fresh nestables which is also on the substrate. Next to her house she has her big, big, long, bendy bridge tube which she is actually currently in. I don't know whether she's going to pop out but we'll see because I can hear her rummaging. Um, she absolutely adores this. So that takes up quite a bit of space as you can see but she adores it and because her cage is so big um, it's perfectly fine. And then we have a little Misty poking her nose out, how cute. And there you can see her little scab. Are you running off? Are you? <laughs> So there you can see um, some more Care Fresh Nestables which I've sprinkled around which you probably couldn't see much of before but there it is. Moving over we have this Play and Climb kit which she adores, it's really nice and colourful and she loves all the holes in it. She, I've never seen her on the second level but she just likes going through all the holes at the bottom so she really enjoys that and I would really recommend that for dwarf hamsters. And down there we have her bamboo little twig thing from Coco and the Crazy Cavi which Misty really really loves um, and you can see she shredded it there. Next to that we also have a little um, apple twig I think it is which Coco and the Crazy Cavi also gave us. And then she has her Woody's Caterpillar from the Board and Breaker range again. If we move up you can see she has a little rainbow bridge there which is also from the Board and Breakers range and she does love that a lot. She couldn't reach her water from going up there so I had to put the cube next to it which is the hide and seek cube which she loves um, and she reaches up there to get her water and the lid is currently off but otherwise the spout of the water would normally go there. Moving down we have her Carly Wonderlands bridge and I probably talk about this bridge all the time but it's literally Misty's baby, she adores it, she does her wee on it, she bites it, she chews it, she swings on it, she goes through the holes. This is Misty's favourite toy by far. And in the middle you may be able to see this bright green critter trail tube which she loves to run through really fast. And then at the far back she has her chew tube which is the pink and blue one. Pop the lid on so you can see what it looks like with the lid on. See, we have a fruit spinners, the apple. But I decided to give them to Misty because they're colourful and they suited her cage. Next to it, like I said before, her water bottle goes there and then she uses her yellow cube to reach it. She's being a cheeky monkey trying to escape, aren't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. 